With advancing age, our bones lose calcium, they become thin, and they become weak. Fractures from osteoporosis most often occur in the spine. Usually patients will have a typical wedge compression fracture. In some cases, the bones when they fracture will burst and pieces of the bone will close off the spinal canal, producing spinal stenosis. In order to familiarize you a little better with the terminology, I'm going to do a quick review of the anatomy of the thoracic and lumbar spine. This is a bone from the spine. It's called a vertebral body. In the front, it looks like a box. Down the middle is a hole, and in the back are the small joints that interconnect it to the bones above and below. These bones are stacked, separated by discs, and they form a bony canal. The brain gives off the spinal cord, which then travels down the spinal canal, and along the way, the spinal cord gives off nerves that help control the body. Most people who suffer a vertebral compression fracture get better within three months without surgery. The first two weeks are very painful. They will struggle with activities of daily living, have difficulty even getting out of bed. By six weeks, most of these patients are able to engage in most normal activities of daily living. They will still have pain many times at six weeks. If the patient is asked if they are improving, they will deny it. They'll say, no, I don't think I'm improving. However, when the physician points out the marked increase in activity levels from when it first started to six weeks, they realize that in fact they have improved. By 12 weeks, these fractures heal and in most cases the pain resolves. These Fractures typically occur in older people who can't tolerate bed rest well. If they stay in bed too long, they will get pneumonia, blood clots, and potentially even die. Because of the high incidence of mortality in elderly patients that are bedridden from pain, the inability to ambulate is an indication for surgery. The surgery of choice is a kyphoplasty. For questions about kyphoplasties, please refer to our other videos on minimally invasive kyphoplasties. A kyphoplasty is an injection of either cement or a mixture of bank bone and stem cells into the fractured bone to make it heal. Sometimes patients will opt electively for a kyphoplasty even though they can walk just because the pain itself is too severe. Some patients, when their bones fracture, they will burst and pieces of the bone will fill the spinal canal, pinching the nerves. The closing of the spinal canal is called spinal stenosis. If the spinal stenosis is causing a neurologic problem, such as pain radiating into the legs, or weakness in the legs, then surgery is indicated. The surgery of choice is a decompression and fusion. If a patient with a compression fracture and spinal stenosis has no neurologic deficit, then they are treated like any other patient with a compression fracture. Remember, a compression fracture, if the patient can walk and tolerate the pain, is treated conservatively. If they are bedridden from the pain or they cannot tolerate the pain, then surgery is indicated. Fractures will heal without surgery. Spinal stenosis will resolve with time. Studies indicate that the clinical and radiographic results with and without the use of braces in patients with compression fractures is the same. The routine use of braces increases cost and increases patient morbidity. Some patients do not tolerate bracing well. If the patient feels better with a brace, they may use one. A brace is not mandatory. The take-home message from this video, compression fractures 
including fractures with stenosis and burst fractures, are usually best treated without surgery. If the stenosis is causing a neurologic problem, then the surgery of choice is a decompression infusion. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. If you have any other questions, write to me at Dr. Smith, ElPasoSpineCenter.com. But the most important thing is give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And remember to tell your friends and neighbors to watch. Thank you.